50 Roblox event items that you can get for free. Let's begin. To get the Sporting's Good Backpack, join the School of Sport, and complete the scavenger hunt inside of the game to go and earn yourself the backpack for free. While you're in this game, you'll also want to be sure to be collecting all of those coins. As there's this amazing item called the mascot from the School of Sports, which is a really cool hat which looks like my channel's logo. To get that item, you need to go and purchase 20 items of clothing inside of the game, which will cost you a significant amount of coins, so it's something that might take you a while to earn. Up next, I'm going to be showing you how to go and get yourself the Sparky Helmet, the Splendid Space Wings, the Alien Parrot, this thing looks kind of crazy. The Z Flip backpack, the lemonade hat, what in the world is this thing? To go and get your first item for free, simply just go and talk to this character, spam it, and ta-da, you now have the Z Flip backpack for your Roblox avatar, and that thing will last you there forever. So it might be a little bit difficult, but there is a shop where once you've gone and earned all of the in-game currency, you'll then be able to go and purchase all of those items. So to open the shop, you need to go to the shopkeeper and then go and earn enough things to go and check out the accessories. So some of these things do cost a significant amount of coins and you go and get the coins by going and completing the actual game. So that does mean you need to go and play the game, follow the tutorial and it will reward you with those items. Definitely worth it to go and get some of these items as they're actually really cool looking. Up next is the Man City Moonship and the Man City Home Shirt. To get this, you need to join the Man City Blue Moon game. Once you're inside of this game, if you go and earn yourself 1,000 points, you'll then be able to go and claim that strange alien hat, and I'm pretty sure you get the t-shirt by simply joining this game. There's also another item that if you find a Manchester Bee, you go and get a free UGC item. This is called Guacathon, which is a charity Roblox event. By joining, you can go and grab some free merchandise for your Roblox avatar. Here's how you can go and get the wavy brown curls with pink, or the short black braids with flowers, or the black plaids with red ribbon, it gets better, black curly braids, and also an afro, all for free. To do so, go and join Sunsilk City's game. Once you're inside of this game, there is a bunch of different things that you can go and do. To go and get the items, you actually need to go and just play the mini games. It's pretty simple. As you can see, there's a button that says UGC. If you want to go and get that UGC item, then you go and play that mini game. So say I want to play the House of Hair and go and claim this item and this item, then we need to go and play that game. You click on the UGC you want, and then you'll be directed with arrows on which direction to go. So I need to go and head on over to the House of Hair. This literally says free UGC by completing the minigame. It's relatively easy and you can go and earn yourself a free UGC hair very quickly by doing this. And ta-da, you now have the Roblox head. I just pressed leave game and it kind of just gave it to me, so uh, that's kind of easy. This is how to go and get the Nars flower necklace. To do so, go and join the New Island Nars Color Quest game. Once you guys are inside of the game, you simply need to go up and walk and talk to Francis. And as you can see, you go and get the badge instantly. It's literally that easy to go and get the free item. It was that quick. Apparently this game is also planning on introducing some other UGC items for players to go and get. There's a bunch of items from the Wimbledon game and you can go and get a hat, a racket, a Sir Andy Murray cap, strawberries and cream hat, okay this one's cool, or you can get a strawberries and cream tennis bag, or even a challenge cup trophy, these things are cool. To get these items we need to go and join Wimbleworld. Inside of this game, there's multiple ways that you can go and earn items. I think my personal favourite is the items available in this shop, such as the strawberries and cream item which we need to go and get 100 Wimble Point coins to go and win. To get those points, simply play the games, and once you get to level 15, you'll also be able to go and unlock that trophy accessory which is a pretty cool additional item. So I'm in the game right now and I'm going to try and win this. To be fair, this is actually quite a difficult game, the NPC has uh, a lot of skill, by the way. <laughs> this NPC might just be the craziest NPC I've ever played against. Like, the NPC's beating me. I'm trying just so hard. And I just, I just lost. Oh, wow. So I guess if you win, you probably get like five points. So you'd have to play around 20 games to go and get the ice cream, strawberries and cream hat thing. So I guess, realistically, it won't take you too long. It took me a couple minutes to go and do that. 
And hey, if you like tennis, then you're gonna have fun playing the game and getting a free item out of it also. And once you're level 15, you get that pretty cool trophy. This is the Duolingo bodysuit and the Duolingo snapback cap. You can get these by joining the Duolingo game hub. To go and purchase the items, you actually need to go and earn yourself a large amount of coins, such as the bodysuit costing you 500 coins and the hat costing you 1,500. To go and get coins, you can go and complete things such as Spanish or Vanish, where it's basically a maze where you have to go and collect certain ingredients. So if you're good at remembering things and avoiding things, it's basically like a giant Pac-Man. If the duo hits you, then uh, you kind of restart. Or you could just run around the map and collect the coins that way, but you'll probably be here a while if you're doing it like that. At the same time, you're also going and learning Spanish. So hey, if you speak Spanish or you want to speak Spanish, then this is a pretty good educational game. I think this might be the most popular one of the year. You can go and get yourself the Sony um, Link Buds, which are basically AirPods, a gold pin, a Nick pillow, and everyone's somehow favorite is the Red Lip by Tate McRae. And you literally get this thing extremely easily in the Tate McRae concert experience. If you wanna go and get yourself the face, all you need to do is walk up to this and press E, 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 and E, and try on all of those, the faces, and then you go and get the face for free. It's, it's literally that easy. And then go and play the skydiving game to win this little badge. I guess the idea is to collect the luggage. I thought I was gonna be avoiding it at first. And the more luggage you get, the more points you get. And ta-da, I now have the free item. We're gonna go and grab the Walmart's Land jacket. To do so, we need to go and join the experience called Walmart's Land. This one's actually really simple. All you need to do is hop into this game and locate the Ferris wheel and go up towards the Ferris wheel. Then all you need to do is go and stop it and hop onto it and you'll go and get this free layered clothing item. As you can see, I now have the surprise gift. Check your Roblox profile. Not gonna lie, this is actually a pretty cool piece of layered clothing. This is the Sparky Shoulder Pet. And this is a pair of zip wings. These ones are really cool and both of these items are completely free. To go and get these, you need to go and join the My Little Pony game. There's five different games right here that you need to go and compete in. Once you've gone and got the badge for all five of these different games, then you'll be able to go and grab the zip wings for free. To go and get a badge, simply click on the game, follow where that light beacon is. For example, I need to play this one, play the game until you earn the badge, and repeat this process until you've got all five badges. Once you've got all five, you then go and get rewarded with the wings. To go and get the second free item, which is the shoulder pet, you need to go and follow my directions. We need to go and locate three different crystals. You get to here and take a right, continue up and take a right again, and around here is your first crystal. We then need to go and exit, turn right and go straight. Then you take a right and go into this garden and claim your second crystal in the corner. Click the bottom character, run towards them and take a left. Go up this hill and jump on over, where you'll then see this cave and you will find the last item you need. Which means if I refresh this item, I now own it. To be fair, this doesn't even look like it's from My Little Pony. For the next item, you need to go into the avatar shop and press the creator as Roblox. And then you go and press the item on the bottom corner that says free. You can then go and press the button that says recently updated as a filter. And here we can see that there are three different faces that we can go and grab for free. These are no ordinary Roblox faces. Why? Because these things can actually animate, which is kind of crazy. So these are the three different faces that you can go and grab, and it's definitely something exciting. For the next game, we're gonna go and join Nas Color Quest. As you can see, this is my Roblox head right now, and it actually like blinks and moves and does some crazy things, which is really exciting. Anyway, in this game, there's actually a virtual shop where players can go and get accessories and different items. In this, you guys have the option to either go and pay Robux, or you can go and pay the in-game currency, which is actually pretty easy to go and get. So I'm gonna go and test out the in-game currency. And just like that, I now have this item owned, and it shows that this thing should go and cost you 85 Robux. Which is actually pretty cool that players can go and earn items that normally cost you Robux to go and buy, and some people are actually buying this without even realizing that they could have gone and got it for free. There's actually quite a lot of these items that you can go and get for free, which is kind of crazy. If you look in this game, all of the items that show the in-game currency, you can actually go and get, such as t-shirts, accessories, and some pretty cool items. All you gotta do is hop on every day and just claim your bonus reward, and you guys are gonna have a pretty awesome looking avatar by the end of it. 
So I basically got 85 Robux completely for free in a couple of seconds by joining the game and claiming a bonus. Let's now go and get this compass necklace and this thing actually looks really expensive. To get this item, we need to head to the ocean section. Then what you need to do is actually jump into the water and start swimming around. And all you need to do is swim down to the bottom of the sea in this little hilly section and you'll go and get the item for free, which is actually extremely easy and I just did that in like 20 seconds. So here's the boat and here's where I'm located, simply just swim over to here. And this compass necklace is actually a pretty cool item, not gonna lie. The game of this is called Welcome to Tech Quest by Computer History Museum, if you guys want to join that one. We're now gonna try and go and get the Pretzel Friend Sitting. This thing looks really cool. To get this item, I'm pretty sure all we needed to do was join this game and we just got the badge. It was literally that simple, all I had to do was join the fashion show by Tommy Play game. And now I have the pretzel friend sitting, which actually goes on your Roblox avatar's shoulder. Pretty cool. In this game, players can also go and purchase some really cool items. If you earn enough of the Tommy tokens, you can go and purchase most of these items. Including layered clothing, different types of hats, bags, or even some classic clothes. You could either simply claim the daily reward and do that, or actually go and play the game and do some tricks to go and earn the in-game currency. Let's go and redeem these Roblox promo codes. The first one is Spider Cola. You guys probably got this years ago. And also the code tweets Roblox, you can go and use. To go and get a giant shoebox for your avatar. This one's pretty simple. All we have to do is go and join Nightland. You can actually also go and earn a UGC item of this basketball by going and earning enough XP. To go and get this shoebox, once you're in the game, all you need to do is walk up to this giant thing that says eat cake and obviously you've gotta go and eat the cake. And there we go, the Nike shoebox costume. Let's go and collect that item. And then over here it says make a waffle shoe. We're gonna go and do it anyway. Uh, and then we got some Nike waffle ones. Those are pretty cool. This shoebox costume is actually massive and the fact that this is free and made by a well-known brand called Nike is kind of crazy. So in case you ever wanted to be a shoebox, you finally can do it for Halloween. It's a, it's a good Halloween costume. This is the sword pack by the Chainsmokers. Let's go and find out how we can go and get this item for free. But first of all, look how amazing this item is. This thing looks like it's made out of crystals and costs you tons of Robux. We need to join Festival Tycoon to get these items. There's also this character which I have not seen before, but it tells us what we need to do to go and get the items here. So build the entrance, we get this. Hit 10 times dancing on the center stage, we get this. And then 500k dancing on the beach, we go and get that sword pack. This seems to be a pretty interesting game and probably not really too difficult to go and get. I suppose you could always just go AFK, go and earn all the money, go and claim it then just go and set up your stage. It might go and take you a while to go and get these other items, but hey, this is a pretty cool looking item and it would probably be worth your time if you enjoy playing this game as well. Up next is the Roblox Innovation Awards Voting Hub, also known as what used to be called the Bloxies. By going and joining this game, you literally go and get a free item, you go and get this tuxedo for going and joining, and then by going and rejoining again, you'll go and get this item, which is this awesome pair of horns. So if we vote and if we take a photo, we will go and get some extra free items from around the map, so let's be sure to go and do that now. So it seems voting is finished, however you can go and take some pictures. And then there are some other items which you can run around this map to try and claim these mystery little pieces as well to get an additional item. As you can see it starts to form like this Roblox logo cube, and there seems to be like an invisible obby that I'm supposed to go and try and complete, which I, I have no idea how I'm meant to know where this is. This is actually a really long obby. And by going and completing this obby, it took a long time, but as you can see, there is this awesome type of like item which looks like it cost you a million Robux, not gonna lie. This is by far my favorite free item that Roblox has gone and added for a while. It literally looks like a Valk. So it's really hard to do this obby. It took me about five minutes, um, but there is some ways that you can like try and know where you need to go. But this item is definitely amazing and I would recommend going and picking this up. So it's quite hard to locate where these invisible things are because obviously they are invisible. But if you wait patiently and see these little lines, they will actually go and reveal where the location of these stands are. So just wait and follow this little trail and it will guide you until the end. It just takes a little while. The next game is slightly old, but it's called the Givenchy Beauty House. 
On the right hand side of the screen you will see that there's a section that says UGC quests. By going and doing these different quests you'll go and earn some item. So if you dance on the dance floor for 100 seconds you'll actually earn an item completely for free which is actually really easy to go and do. Or collect 10 symbols which are located around the map which again will go and give you a free item. There's quite a lot of awesome free items on here made by a designer brand so if you do like that then I'd recommend going and doing it. As you can see by simply walking over here, you can see that my UGC quest symbol is going and slowly increasing. Just wait for the 600 seconds and you'll go and receive a completely free design item for your Roblox avatar's character, which is pretty easy to go and do. In Gucci Town, you can go and earn yourself a bunch of items completely for free, which are done extremely easily, such as these Gucci oversized sunglasses. To go and get these sunglasses, all you need to do is load up the Gucci game and then go and begin the tutorial. You'll see yourself some arrow and you just have to follow them and literally take two minutes and then you'll have successfully gone and earned yourself those glasses completely for free. There's also a UGC section where you can actually go and purchase some of these items using an in-game currency. So if you want to go and pick up these items such as the Gucci baseball hat, the Gucci hairpiece, the Gucci t-shirt or different hairpiece, you can go and get these by unlocking it with gems which you go and get by completing. This is one that I highly recommend you going and getting, the Cinema Roll backpack which actually looks pretty decent, but apart from that bit where it's flat. So to get this item, all you need to do is play the Hello Kitty game. Now in this game, what you need to do is get 1000 customers and then you'll be rewarded this item for free. It's literally like um, a little cooking game where you make things and try and bring in customers. And once you have 1000 customers, you get the backpack. It's pretty simple. It's not relatively hard to go and get this. Some players have said they've managed to do it in 20 minutes. Whereas some people have complained and said it took 40 minutes, but hey, it's a free item and I recommend getting it. Thanks for watching, hopefully you got something new. Click this video here to see how I got the Headless Horseman inside Roblox for free.